Police chase of the day. Our first wow. one was happening about, well, it was 11 o'clock local time there in LA. This is our second one. Yeah, what was, uh, I came in right when you guys were reporting on that first one. What was with the first one that happened earlier today? Is that, uh, were they both in California today? Yes, both in uh, California, uh, San Fernando Valley. Um, but this one, you can tell is going a lot faster. The first one we had was just very slow and you could tell this driver is a little bit more erratic, switching lanes uh, very fast. So we are going to monitor this, but uh, viewer discretion is advised here as this is a very, obviously a uh, fluid situation here. And uh, just about to update the lower third. So I yes. should put Los Angeles. Yep. All right. Just a double check here. There we go. The lower third is updated. And so we are hoping that this is going to end peacefully. And thanks to everyone watching right now on Fox 10 Phoenix Facebook Live as we are watching this pursuit happen. You can see the white car here. Uh, we, still, we don't know the exact reason of uh, the pursuit here. It could Usually it's because of a stolen vehicle, but... Right. Uh, let me ch we'll check on some information here. So again, it's uh, about 4.50 here in Phoenix, but this is out of Los Angeles. So, My co-host, Mike Page, up here with me. This is your second police chase of the day, you <laughs> said, Yep, Mike. it's, uh, and this is going to get really dicey here. Oh, hit that car, and then he just veered off onto the from the highway. Um, We're hearing all different things coming into our newsroom, yeah. you guys, so bear with us A lot here. going on, and, and, and you know, we should point out that this is rush hour as well. Going wow. on going on rush hour there in LA, and this this suspect is moving. If you were with me during my first uh, chase of the day, it's, this is a real um, difference here that we are seeing. I mean, this driver is really uh, so, gun, gunning the speed here. Yeah, because earlier you were kind of saying that the guy was obeying the traffic laws, but this guy clearly not obeying traffic no, laws. No, and you know what? So many times that we say, why are these people continuing to? Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow. That's I mean, what scares me is when you see, um, you know, they don't stop at these red lights and these intersections. I know. And the, and the most unfortunate thing about these situations is, you know, they are so selfish that they are putting so many lives at risk there on the roadways. I mean, it, it, it would just take one person to come out and you're going to get hit. Oh, wow. So uh, viewer discretion is advised, everybody. This is obviously live and uh, we are going to be following this for you, but if it gets really out of hand, we'll have to uh, dip out of the coverage just in case we just don't know what's going to happen. All right, so if you're just joining us here, we do appreciate you being part of Fox 10 and News Now. We are following this police pursuit we just got the video within about five minutes ago the feed here you can see now police getting a little bit closer to the suspect we'll see what's going to happen here we have heavy traffic right now and he's going right through the intersection that is always the scariest part Mary Kay. the 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 intersection is really the times that you are going to get hit because a lot of the times they're you know running those reds or they're there's so much so much going on through their minds that they're not obviously paying attention and they are going a lot faster than they should be because they are trying to get away but you know people ask me well, why do you think they're going oh look at that oh, wow. wow 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 okay and i wonder if they are aware that choppers are also following them so even, they can drive as fast as they want but we, we always have an eye on them yes as, you know we're watching them from a news chopper i know but it, it's like they just they know eventually they're going to get caught but they just want to at that extend point. those last moments of freedom but they don't they don't realize or they probably do but they don't care at this moment that they're putting look at how many cars this person has passed and how many lives he has uh, risked by doing this absolutely yeah C could you tell can you tell what kind of car that is i'm trying um, to see um i can't sell from tell. this angle if here. you guys can tell let us know in the chat or tweet at us uh, mary kate fox 10 or uh, mike page fox oh, 10. oh wow 
We were we were worried about something like that happening. He just slammed into a car oh, there. Oh wow. Slams wow. into a couple more. Let's hopefully this will be on and viewer discretion is advised. Again, uh, as Mike said, viewer discretion advised. These police chases always end differently. He may or may not have a weapon. Uh, so let's, uh, uh, police now have their weapons drawn. So again, if you have kids in the room or anything, get them out of the room. We don't know how this is going to end, but it looks like he is putting his hands out of the window as protocol, right? Yeah. Is that what you're seeing yeah. too, Mike? Yeah, the hand, the hand is out. He just... He's you could, probably shaken up from hitting both those cars. Jeez, I mean, that happened so fast. And you could just see, hopefully those people are okay that he, that he hit. He hit about three cars. Got to give it up to police that have to deal with these dangerous situations know, every day. All the time. And, you know, we just show a little small fraction of what is happening. It looks like he's, he is yelling. Yeah, yelling back to the police. Um, wow. Yeah. Once again, props to the police. You know, this is, we just showcase a fraction of what they have to do with, deal oh, with, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. So, and again, you never know how these things end and, you know, on the end of police having to chase them and then draw their guns because they don't know, is this guy under the influence? Does he have a weapon? Um, yeah, he's so still, it's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. He's, I mean, he still could have a weapon and he could just reach in there and really, really start some commotion there. Appreciate you guys watching with us live here on Fox News Now as well as uh, Fox 10 Phoenix Facebook page. I'm your host, Mary Kay Gaffney, and uh, my co-host, Mike Pache. Are we streaming on Facebook or are we yeah, streaming we on, are, on, we're, on we're, YouTube as well? We are with Facebook as well, Fox 10 Phoenix, Facebook Live as well. Again, so uh, wow, they, they all still have their guns drawn. What do you think is going to happen, Mike? Well, I'm hoping that it's going to end very peacefully. I hope that he's just going to get out of the car, take a couple steps backwards, and uh, get to the ground so the police can uh, handcuff this individual. Here we go. Uh, very tense situation still. Getting out of the vehicle. Hope, now they're going to ask him to, to go backwards a couple steps and then get on the ground with his uh, legs crossed. So let's see. Can you imagine if you were in that neighborhood right now, looking out your window, seeing this all happen just right outside? Yep, yep. There we go. And he's going to lay. So he is, he is right now following the officer's commands. And they're quickly going to get, the, they, to the suspect. They also want to check the car to make sure that there's nobody in the car as well. I wonder if these are, I mean, again, was the police station you covered earlier today in Los Angeles as well? Yeah. I'm wondering if these are the same officers. Like, wow, oh, let's, let's hit yeah. it again, boys. Yeah. Let's get out there. Yeah. You know, they deal with this all the time in LA. And sure do. a protocol that, you know, they have to follow. Um, you know, they draw their weapons because they don't know who's getting out of the car. But it looks like this guy's um, cooperating with police, so that's good. Yeah, and we're hearing from uh, local media reports there that the suspect is wanted for a prior shooting that happened earlier today. Wow. So again, you guys, if you heard that, suspect wanted for a prior shooting that happened earlier today. That's the driver you're seeing there laying on the ground in the white t-shirt and jeans. Uh, police still have their guns drawn behind their doors right now, giving him orders of what to do next. Just another, I mean that those those, uh, those speeds were getting a little out of hand, especially when he veered off from the highway. Look at this whole street is now blocked, and ooh, look oh, at that wow. car there. We're hoping that uh, look at they're going to have to do a rescue mission right now to get this driver out. Oh ooh. wow, was there a driver? There was a driver in that car. I thought it was just parked on ooh, the side of the street. Yeah, look at you could tell the way that they are frantically trying to get in. That, wow, uh, that's scary right there. Ho hopefully that uh, driver is okay. Ouch, oh my. Wow, I really, I thought that car was just uh, parked on the side of the street. I, I didn't see that there yeah. was someone actually in that vehicle. I know, it was happening so fast. And uh, she, and we were just mentioning this earlier. You know, the suspect was putting so many lives at risk, and, we were, and here's the reason that we were all worried about that this would happen, because those high rate of speeds in that neighborhood was just too much. He was going so fast, Mike, I couldn't believe yeah. it. Was, and seeing him go through those intersections, he hit two cars, right? We saw yep. two? Yeah. And the and look 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 how great that uh, 
the police are one moment they are in a pursuit and now they are in a rescue mission here we're taking you to the live takedown of this suspect they do have that uh, suspect now apprehended once again uh, local media reports they're saying the suspect was wanted for a prior shooting earlier today so wow just a stressful situation now we could, let's get the uh, camera now back on those cars there that were damaged and hopefully the people in the car are okay wow yeah look at that does it look like they got him out yet or they're still no, trying there they're, and they're trying to get the car i think they oh, need to wow. flip it first yeah they want to flip it but oh wow So I was just saying, you know, one moment these police are in a pursuit, now they're in a rescue mission. Yeah. That is just that just shows you everyone for everyone watching. We don't we don't get to uh, think law enforcement enough because what what they have to put up with, what they have to do and look at they're going to flip look, it here oh, right look here. Look at this. This is amazing. You guys here are we all go. watching this live right now on the Fox News Now stream out of Los Angeles, California. Yeah, where this is now turned into a rescue mission. We had a police chase, now a rescue mission where the suspect slammed into a car and then uh, proceeded to go a little more. This this really shows you. Look how many how, men are doing this right now. You gotta yeah, give it up to these guys. Yeah, this just shows you how powerful. Uh, wow. Look at that. Oh. oh hopefully oh, wow. that, that driver's gonna be okay. Wow. Looks, Came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. pretty banged up really bad obviously disoriented obviously very scared shocked i mean you just got slammed probably going about 50 to 60 miles per hour there right ouch wow well oh my god boys in blue once again Let's helping out community oh, members yeah. there that car hit too wow